Before we go any further, I want to help you understand what I mean when I differentiate between mind and heart. Let me try and illustrate. Imagine you're walking down the street and you notice a man walking on the other side of the street. After a few moments, a second man comes up from behind and taps the first man on the shoulder. The first man turns around and after a brief interchange, he reaches into his pocket, pulls out his wallet, and hands the second man a $100 bill. The two men then walk away in different directions. What is the fact of what you just saw? You saw a $100 transfer ownership from the first man to the second. Is that all you need to know? Let's try again, and this time I'm going to add the story so your heart can understand what your mind just saw. What if I told you the second man was a robber? When the first man turned around, he said, I've got a gun in my pocket. Hand over all your money or else. Or let's try this. What if I said the two men were old friends? The second man was down on his luck and had previously phoned his friend and asked if he could borrow a hundred dollars and they had agreed to meet there. Or what if it was the other way around? What if the first man had been the one to borrow the hundred dollars and he had asked his friend to meet him so that he could pay him back? Let's go back to the first robber scenario. What if I told you the first man was a multi-millionaire? No, let's say that he had been unemployed for several months. No, let's say several years. He's just been to the bank and withdrawn his last hundred dollars. He has a little girl at home and she's sick. In fact, the doctor told him if he didn't get medicine for her right away, she was going to die. He was on his way to get that medicine, and now his money was gone. Isn't it interesting? That same hundred dollar bill yielded greed, joy, sorrow, anguish, gratitude, love, despair, and annoyance. All things that only the heart can understand. The fact that it was a hundred dollar bill really was the least important piece of information of all. It gave us a point of reference, but that was about it. And notice, if I were to ask you to tell me in words what greed or joy or anguish feels like, could you? The heart understands things that cannot always be expressed in words or directly taught, but still it knows. And as the fox and the little prince so rightly observed, it is only with the heart that one can rightly see. What is essential is invisible to the eye. It is this realm of the heart that separates humans from machines, and it's all these feelings that make life worth living.